Hello, and welcome to Playframe. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Just Crow Things. And look, if I pick this up right, it looks like I'm drinking a coffee. It does. Kind of. <laughs> Even if this is not in fact a coffee and is actually just the thing that holds a balloon. Yeah, well, Crow doesn't know the difference, I guess. Delicious. <laughs> coffee. <laughs> For crows. But yes, welcome back. Crowfee. We are outside the level, as you can as you can tell. Uh because end of last episode we'd left the level and turns out that um in doing so, leaving the level's basically like the same as resetting and it. resetting it. So uh at least the way we left it. Maybe true, there's a different true. way. Maybe there is, maybe there is. It like then again, how much progress was really lost? So much. I'd done so much. You had done a lot. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm not saying that. I found like Two or three objects. True, true. There, there was like a hey, there was a coin or two. Uh huh. Maybe a, a cup or a bowl something or something. Something like that, yeah. And I think we talked to the peacock at one point, and that's yeah. about it in terms of game objectives. Game objectives. I mean. I feel like we can do a, we can do better on that front a little bit today. I bet. I suppose. <laughs> it's amusing that it's going to take like 45 seconds to <laughs> catch up to where we were. I have a certain set of skills. Yes, that is very, very true. I mm -hmm. re regret that. Oh, oh, you're going to get angry with me. And that didn't take long. Wow. You got very broomed. Uh-huh. I got very broomed by a person who's standing right next to a fire, um, what's it called? Not extinguisher. The opposite Maker. thing. Maker. <laughs> Maker. <laughs> fire unextinguisher. Non -ex <laughs> oh my gosh, they're being so mean to me. I have to. I see that in the, like, in the week since last episode, they've kind of pulled together a <laughs> local sort of, like, uh, town Militia? defense. Yeah, basically. A neighborhood <laughs> guard? <laughs> yeah. Look, this is important. You left quite an impression. They just knocked the fence over with me. Well, this this happens on battlefields. I guess. You clean up after you win the war. Whoa. I'm stuck in the building. Help. Wow. They actually put you in jail. <laughs> they did. Wow. I'm in bird jail. This isn't fair. Well, what did I ever do to you? What did I ever do it's, to it's, you? It's a problem. I don't know if we can say it's unfair, though. Like, <laughs> I cannot believe how quickly this episode has gone wrong. Yeah, yeah. And through no fault of mine this time. <laughs> Technically. Well. Fortunately, fortunately, the game does provide us tools for this. You're right. You're right. There is a we can... somewhere. You found it earlier. I um... unstuck crow. -y. There we go. There. There is no containing this bird. <laughs> no jail can hold you. Exactly. And what's more? Wait. Where did I? Where did I see that? Where did I go? I'm lost now. Oh my goodness. Got all turned around and confused. Not really used to consequences. How dare you? <laughs> I'm used to consequences. Whoa. They're gonna do it again. They really are. I'm just after this, all right? I won't even take revenge. I'll be good. You've claimed the goblet. I have. It is mine. The chalice, even. It was a challenging chalice. There you go. There. Yeah. So you'll get us go. Yeah. Progress. Doing tasks. Yeah. Hey, buddy, I think I talked with you last time. I just can't remember what you... We, like, collected you. Oh, was that what we did? Yeah. I suppose we. it might be beneficial for us to find the animals we can talk to, because then we'll know... What we can do? What to actually do with, like, these things that seem like they're objectives. Like, that definitely seems like something that we're supposed to collect and take somewhere. I did see somebody over here. Somewhere. Question mark. I've seen some yes. other. There you are. What goodness? <laughs> yeah. Goodness. My babies! <laughs> My babies! 
They're gone! Disappeared! Removed! Unexisted! Well, they probably just ran away like the little rascals they are. They couldn't have gone far. They must be somewhere around. Goodness. Will you bring them back to me? All of them? I am a mother. I need my babies. Oh, that sounds uncomfortably Cartman. <laughs> um, <laughs> please. <laughs> I have not thought about South Park in a long time, but <laughs> something about ma just with that warbly voice. Yeah, like the my babies. My definitely babies. Sound, def, that definitely sounds like a season one, two, or three South Park Cartman sort of. Right. <laughs> Very, very. It felt right though. The face on that, <laughs> that face that on that squirrel was very intense. And who are you? Good this day, is... bird. No, no, this is the hedgehog. Oh, right, you were the hedgehog earlier. The little sweetie. Yes. Did you do voice that one or was it me? I think you did, but I can't remember okay. what your voice. I'm Rupert the hedgehog. You might have seen my twin brother around. Oh, okay. Well, me and my brother are quite different in many ways. The hat. What we do share is certain a th certain thirst for unadulterated chaos. Oh. It would please me deeply to see you blow away some of the humans with briefcases. Wow, you're My you have a, people. You have a lot of experience with this. Don't enable the crow. Animal. I've been given a quest. <sighs> I've been given a game mandated quest. I, th I thought we to recreate briefcase alley. <sighs> I I thought this was going to be the episode where we achieved some sort of reform, but no. We are. We're going to do what the game tells us. Just when we thought we were out. You okay. wanted me to do what the game tells me, right? That's true. I didn't think the game was going to <laughs> fool me in this way. How do you blow them away? Why, I'll leave that up to you to figure out. Oh, and while you fly around, poop on some cars along the way. Oh, sure. Humans love it when you decorate their cars. I did that as a cat too, except not pooping. It was paint. That's true. But it looks the same. Which is actually way same. harder to clean. Well, it's actually way worse. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe depending on the kind of paint you use. I suppose so, but um. This is delightful. I never, I never anticipated. <sighs> Games turned on me. I was trying to help you, game. What's this? What is that? I ate it. I think it's affected your. Oops. It looks like it. Your ammunition has changed. <laughs> you have a boost now. <laughs> Beautiful. Come here, child. That's pretty good. Okay, now we know where to take you. Come, child. I will deliver you to your mother. Oh, boy. She has need of you. Yes, that's true. Very intensely. <laughs> you are welcome. I doubt the face will calm down once... <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. Honestly. Sparkles? Ooh. Oh. Blowtorch. Right. The thing you don't want me to have. Well, the game has overruled me. Oh, no. They didn't ask me to blowtorch people. That's true. Yet. Come on. Fly? Yes? Yes, fly? This is what they requested I do. This is true. This is what <laughs> no. the... It's not what the people want. It's what that one... So with that one... Listen, hedgehogs are people, too. Hmm. For a certain definition of people. Briefcase. Briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> you dare bring a briefcase to my alley? <laughs> uh, oh, dear me. Fear me. <laughs> okay. So, we got one. For the handful of you who might not know some of the context for this, one of the previous <laughs> game we played for this, which uh, it seems so much less chaotic by comparison in hindsight, uh, was Little Kitty Big City. And one mode of play that Carrie kind of found was... Uh, briefcase Alley. Yes, there was this one stretch of like street where a lot of pedestrians walked with briefcases for some reason, and... Carrie found that as a cat, if you trip them up, they drop the briefcase, and uh, then you can Get open the prizes. briefcase and find what's inside, and the briefcase just kind of stays in the street. So she created a very, very full street. Art installation. Loaded with briefcases, and it became Briefcase Alley, and it was the whole thing. It was beautiful. There are bound to be a lot of references to that game in this one. Probably. Uh, to our playthrough of that game in this playthrough, because 
I'm a, a cute little agent of chaos. It's true. That's true. Cute little highly melanated agent of chaos, even. Yeah, it's little kitty big city was not where you being a little animal instrument of chaos began. Spirit Pharaoh was probably that. Little kitty big city definitely cemented it. Like cemented it, and it was. It, we've built some momentum on that front. I feel. Yeah. And um, maybe going from little kitty big city to this. I guess there were a couple of one-offs in between, but yeah. To this, this I, is I this is escalating at a exponential rate. I ran a kitchen. That's true. We ran a kitchen, but like we try to contain chaos in that case, or feed chaos, or it's, I'm not sure. We did something with chaos, probably. And then the kitchen closed within a week or two. So back to this. Back to what we know. Back to what we're good at. Back to dominating those who dare bring their briefcases to my realm. Back to a life of crime. You. I see you. Oops. I dropped my... No. No. My weapon. Yes. (laughs) I do love the tools that they are giving you access to. (laughs) It's quite good. Great. I feel like Crowy here and Little Potato would be the best friends. Hmm. Little Potato the... Oh, Little Potato the cat, right. Yeah, yeah. Big Potato was the dog. Yeah, yeah. That's true. The cat did befriend a crow first thing. Like, right off the bat. In Little Kitty. Wait, is... I thought I heard a someone meowing. Are you meowing? You are! Oh! You're not my little potato, but you're a little potato. Very potato-shaped. I know what you need. Cat wants... Oh. I'd have assumed the ramen, but... Yeah, I thought you wanted the fish. Oh, oh, the mice want me to help them with the cat. (laughs) I, too, thought we were going to be allied with the the cat there on this one. (laughs) There is a big fat cat down below, and he wants to eat us. We saw. Help, Crowy, help. I bet the fat cat would love some fish as well. (gasps) Fish. 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 Look, you get to... Give the cat some fish. Drop some fish near him, and he'll be sure to follow. There should be a leaky pipe on one of the buildings near us. <coughs> Lead the cat to get splashed, and he'll be sure to scram. Save us, Squeak. At this point, I'm just glad the mice aren't asking you to use the flamethrower. <laughs> Honestly, I think I should just give the cat a fish, and that should be enough. Probably. Please land. Land. Take fish. Take fish. There you go. There. Happy kitty. Happy kitty. Oh, you use the fish to lure cat under a leaky pipe, I see. Yeah, that is what I just said in mouse voice. I realize I don't always listen to myself talk when I'm doing dialogue. I don't either. So, the... The... Uh, rehash was worth doing. Come on, kitty. Kit Kat. They're not interested in the fish. Maybe, maybe if there's a... Where's the leaky pipe? It's over this way. Maybe if you set the fish down near it, the kit... Hmm, yeah, it's kind of far away. Or it's possible you can, like... shower. Oh, that is cute. Maybe you can, like, create a little fish trail. Reese's pieces of fish. (laughs) E.T. phone fish. Kitty. Yes. <laughs> that cat. It's a good cat. I wish I was better at picking up fish. Crowy. Crowy. Crowy, please. Land. There you go. Come on, kitty. There yes. you go. Yes. <laughs> That doofy I'm cat sorry, model is very, face. very good. I love it. Your face. Yeah. Your beautiful face. <laughs> Buddy, get out of here before I find a flamethrower. It's a big cat. Give me a reason. It's like chest high on that guy. What was the button for? Do you remember my button for the camera? Oh, a left bumper, I believe. There Thank you go. Thank you. Now get out of there, dude. 
do not make me find the f Daniel. Mm -hmm. He wants the flamethrower. He's I'd, asking. For I'm the proud of your thrower. restraint. He's begging for the. He is kind of being a little thrower. bit of a problem, actually. Right. I just want a photograph of me and my good friend, the cat. <laughs> <laughs> the pose together is very good. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. Zoom in. This is basically how you have to control kind of like cameras in your view inside game engines and stuff too. It's it's not the easiest. Really? If you're using a controller, there's like slightly different controls if you're using uh mouse and keyboard, but it's still basically the same and it's Um you get used to it, but it's not the easiest. I think the camera is a little confused. It's a me, very, very narrow focus. <laughs> me and that cat are pretty much on the same focal plane camera. We'll just zoom in in post, I guess. <laughs> There's so much free space around this. I wanted to crop it more. But if I zoom in, it'll just be blurry. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's good, though. We're just good, good friends. Me and Cat. Good chaos causing friends. I don't think the cat's had a thought since the last fish. <laughs> well, it has we, gone into standby. We can't have that. Give me the. Give me. It's listen, a very narrow thing they're having you land on. It is so. I get it. You have to make it this hard, or the cat will just eat all the fish. Cat, I feel like you could but, reach those. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Cat could totally reach those. Cat just can't jump up to get to them. There you go. Huh, good. All right. You're almost there, kitty. We are dangerously near to completing a task. Oh, you're right. I should stop, huh? That's not quite what I was saying, but, um... Why did you call it dangerous, then? When you say something's dangerous, that's going to make me want to not do it. That's not been my experience with this crow. Because <laughs> I'm a good little crow, and I would never do anything dangerous. Hmm. Obviously. That's okay. I'm not wearing a wire. Well, we are recording, so I guess... <laughs> Technically, you might be wearing a wire. In a sense. <laughs> no thoughts. Oh, I'm sorry, kitty. Here, I'll bring you the fish wherever you went. I hope you're happy, mice. Because I feel like a jerk. I see you, my coffee. My sparkly coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I bet the mice are happy. You know it's for crows because it's called coffee. Coffee, yeah. Coffee. It's obvious. No, Liet. All right, you monsters. I've done your bidding. <clears throat> Squeak! You lured the ugly cat away! How dare you? Thank you, Crowy! Thank you! Yeah, I'm never doing it again. Look at you go. Don't ask me. To Don't, don't ask me to choose sides. Because it's not going to go well for you. Here's a fish. You look like mouthfuls. So... I'm just saying, never, never pit me against a cat again. I'm so proud of us. I feel horrible. I did a mean thing to a cat. The cat did get to eat like four fish, which is four fish that the cat wasn't supposed to have. So you did a bunch of nice things to a cat first. I guess. You built up quite a surplus of nice things. I guess. I don't know. It doesn't feel like enough. I feel like I've betrayed myself and everything I stand for. Well, if we find an, if we find the cat again, I'm sure they will not mind another fish. Whoa! I it was the fast <laughs> the fast zooms. I was trying to poop on the car because I saw the hedgehog and it reminded me. But ah, I forgot right. I still had fast zooms on. Oh yeah. I suppose if we just eat some regular fruit, that'll sort that out. Oh, that's a good idea. There you go. Yeah. Goodness. You have ammunition. Mm -hmm. Pony Hawk, hello. Um, right, that's me. Yeah. Hola, Crow. 
Are you practicing your swoops to make faster, to move faster like I showed you? I know it feels hard, but think of how good it will feel once you get the hang of it. Anyway, I think it's time to introduce you to races. Oh boy. See this ring next to me? It will activate the special race mode. Just land on it and squawk to activate. Then fly through all the checkpoints that appear fast as you can. Find all the races in the world and complete them for much, much fun. Every race you complete will increase your croputation. If you're struggling or want to or want extra challenge, you can always change race difficulty. Just pause the game and go to settings anytime. But feel free to skip races if you don't like them. They are entirely optional. Oh, that's nice. I might not want to do races. Eh, give one a try. It's nice knowing that they're optional in anyway. That's true. And maybe, maybe it's a way to improve my skills. That's true. A little practice don't hurt. Where am I going? Oh, good. There, there I'm going. Is that it? That's not it. There's another one. Oh, I like the little line on the ground. That's helpful. Yeah, that's quite helpful, actually. Especially with your shadow and all that below, so you can, like, kind of I would be so much it. better at this if I had not changed my fruit to the normal kind. <laughs> that's true. That's why there are a couple of cans of the, the thing that makes you go fast sitting next to the yeah, that makes sense. Tony, pony hawk. Yeah. Right there, see? Those are the fast food. The, the food that makes you go fast. The fast food, yes. Yeah, the fast food. Perfect. I mean, you got like a silver anyway, so like, I think you did pretty good. I think so. I wonder. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Ah, Whoa. No. Gracious. Dang it. I just want the coffee. But I'll deal with this first. This will have to do. Ah, <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I'm cursed to be a clumsy animal in every game I play. It's okay. There's a certain charm to the whole, like, bonk, dang it. <laughs> Trend. It was more, maybe a little more fun with the adorable animation on Little Potato. Yeah. But, no, I didn't mean to stop flying. Keep going. Right, okay, so. One more human needs to be blown, or one with a briefcase, rather, needs to be blown away. Yes. Many cars need to be pooped upon. Oh, right, I can do that now. One squirrel child needs to be ah. found at goodness. Whoa. Also, we need to find... <laughs> also, we need to find a key somewhere. Oh, right. I have made a chalk outline around in this car. You did create a little crime scene. Ironically, without managing to do the crime. I tried. I'll try again. We'll see. Maybe I'll do better this time. There you go. Wow. Fire. <laughs> yes. Yes. Good game. Good game. Why did that other one catch fire? Um, it's allergic. Oh, it could be, uh, allergies, I see. Yeah, the car's allergic to poop. Interesting that this is set in Japan also. Like, Little Kitty Big City, I think, was. I believe so, yeah, given the... I guess there wasn't signage, but just the general look of things. Yeah. That's neat. Like, I think these were be in development at the same time. I don't think like any any either games really copying each other unless maybe these devs know each other and they're just intentionally kind of a doing the thing. But I don't know. <gasps> Infinite energy. Ooh. Infinite poops. Infinite poop energy. That's what coffee do? Yes. <laughs> All That's the cars what do. reacting in completely different ways is very good. Right? Good for gag. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. How many more cars? A lot of good Just comedy games more. last year. Uh, one been, more car. I yeah. wonder if this one counts. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Croputation up. Ha. E. E. You're e. achieving so much. See? You thought I couldn't do it. 
What's this? Ooh, the key. Ooh, a key. The key, the key. Back off, broom people. Yes, the town defense was coming for you, but you're safe. They don't stand a chance. And you've collected the final shiny gold trinket. I just have to find another squirrel kid. Yeah. And... A lemur somewhere. Oh. A lemur wants help with something. A lemur, you say? Yeah. Well, there is a part of this town that I haven't really checked out much. That's true. There's like a whole half town over here. Ooh, shiny. Oh, yeah. Another bowl. Land? Does that table have a face? Um, yes. What? I... <laughs> I... I'm so confused, but I really like it. I do too. It's amazing. It's just incredible. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I love the sense of humor of the development team on this one. I do too. This I, is amazing. I think they have another game. Too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look that up later because I think they did make another game before this that also looked interesting and then I forgot about it. Like, to, I forgot to actually check it out. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'll look, you keep being so incredibly productive while I try to figure out what else they made real quick. Oh, look, a party. A party, ooh. A party. A party could be... Ooh. Oh, it's full of children. Buddy, the worst don't try. kind of party. Ah, Ooh. music. I could make the music stop. You definitely could do that. Children, would you like to play musical chairs? <laughs> They're trying to hold you off. He immediately thwacked me with a broom and knocked me into more balloons. And yeah, that was actually kind of sad. Let's see. Spicy food. Just crow things made by... A lemur? Not made by a lemur, sorry. Probably, Looking we don't know. for a lemur. Unbound creations, that could be a lemur, I don't know. By the way, like, they, they sent us a code for this, by the way. I should mention that, like, I was going to try this game out anyway, but they sent us a code Aww. because they... I think I did mention it last episode, but just in case, they did. And we're really grateful, because... This is great. They, they've got our tastes, like... Dialed in. Exactly, yes. So, uh... <laughs> yeah. This, this is deeply for me in ways that are very similar to how Little Kitty Big City was for me. <laughs> they've made several games. Even if I struggle to find lemurs. <laughs> Have they? Yeah, their previous one, mm -hmm. just a year earlier, and I can, I can see they're kind of like building on oh, the tech what? and ideas of their... Uh, hi, my name is Pitt. <laughs> and Hello. That's, and that's that. Well, okay. Sorry, folks. Yeah, no, this is the right thing to do while you do that. Uh, so it's, it's clear they're kind of like building on some of their tech and ideas and tools and stuff because the previous game, uh, titled Leaf Blower Man, this game blows. <laughs> so, I and I think that might be where the leaf blower and the leaf blower tech, in fact, might be from. The previous game that I was thinking of, though, which was like a couple of years ago, three years ago even, um, was called Rain on Your Parade, in which you play a, oh. a rain cloud going around and raining on people and such so okay so actually i told a friend about just crow things mm -hmm. and they immediately suggested i play that game yeah that's incredible Tra travel the world as a cute cardboard cloud and ruin everyone's day unlock new methods of mischief in over 50 <laughs> levels each with unique I, well I, I know what we'll be looking at later so yeah <laughs> And she'll be so happy to know that she was right. This is related. We are fans of this team, clearly. So um, good job, y'all. And thank yeah. you for the code for this, because we're... 
<laughs> We're having a very good time. Um, <laughs> I can't tell. So because <laughs> and you put him back down. <laughs> these are like these are game devs who you can tell have a good time. Uh -huh. They're having they're having a good time at work, and I love that. That's beautiful. I'm taking them to meet the table. Like I cannot tell. Like it could be that these are references and inside jokes, or it could be just a complete mishmash of random things that they had a weird wow. idea for and then made. And I don't know, but either way, I love the result. I don't understand the result in the slightest, but boy, is it great! Right. Okay. Sorry, Pit. I'm sorry, Pit. I just meant to set you down so I could go save the table. I know, I know, I know. I'm putting you back where you were from because... Oh, no! Oh, boy. I'm putting you back where you came from because people were bumping into you and hurting you, and I didn't want them to. You and two can keep each other company. That's exactly what I'm thinking. You are both delightful, and you should be together. I'm not saying I ship this bread and table, but, like... They're on a little date in a... Restaurant? Yes, Trant. <laughs> yes, Trant, it's a restaurant. And you're very stuck. I mean, define very. Because <laughs> mm. I feel like I could probably get out. Maybe, not if this guy has anything to say about it. Okay, he might have, he might have trapped me under the table. They've managed to actually, like, jail you twice. It's pretty impressive. Listen... <laughs> I want to take offense to that, but you're kind of not wrong. Crowy. I failed to hit the button correctly. Oh, I was about to say. Crowy free. Crowy free. But now the bread and the table can be friends together. Yeah. Ooh, what's that I see? It's a briefcase. Ooh. Where is the nearest leaf blower? We do need a leaf blower. I left it all the way over there. I've got to go all the way over there for it. Dang it. That's fine. It's okay. Just just think about how happy you'll be holding a leaf blower and pointing it at someone with a briefcase. Oh, so happy. Yeah, it's going to be all worth it. Definitely. Come here, my friend. Briefcase. Destroyer. Yes, I've named my leaf blower. It's called... Hear me out. It's not like I can stop you. But it is a target-rich environment. <laughs> Gracious. Party's over. Everyone clear out. I'm a bad crow. I'm a bad crow. Happy birthday oh. to the ground. I think I found something. It's not a lemur, but I found another friend. Oh, lovely. Mm, Gotta find a briefcase. There you are. Yeah, nice. Okay. Victory. There. Ooh, coffee. No, Carrie. Focus. <laughs> Try to focus. So, you're the other one. The one without a hat. Help! Oh, no. These humans have taken over my home, my beautiful park. I was a good crow. It appears they're having some kind of devilish ritual. Please, please do what is in your power to ruin it. Flamethrower. Gotcha. Now I've got a mission. I feel like the game has sided with you on this. I'm it's game mandated. I have to do outnumbered. it. Outnumbered. You are. It's true. No. Gimme. 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 Gimme, gimme. That broom guy down there is ready for you, trying to sneak up. I saw him. Be very, very quiet. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's basically what happens to Elmer Fudd every time, so. Right? Gimme. Gimme, yes. And here we go. I'm going to go solve the problems. The problems of the park. 
poor hedgehogs are parkless. Mm -hmm. Their homes being overrun by non-native species to the park. Happy sixth birthday, Jake. Listen, I'm intentionally not targeting the... the Birthday boy. Children. (laughs) I'm just creating enough chaos to make them leave. Go on. Go on. Shoo. Oops. Uh, oops. Um, little bit of fire. Just a little, a little bit of fire there. There's... Turkey? There's no oops to this. Terrence! Terrence, what have they done to you? It took me a second to tell what you were going for, but I... I Why? Oh, dear. Why? Oh. You might... You monsters! <laughs> How could you? It's uh, pretty good. <laughs> Listen, I know I look like a villain. This is a children's birthday party. I know that you're just you're the Punisher. But you're the you're the little Punisher crow. Exactly. Is, they had it coming. This is a revenge story. If you'd have been there, then you would have done the same. Like if John Wick can kill 10,000 people for a dog, you can flamethrow one birthday party. <laughs> exactly. You get it. 10,000 people? Really? I mean, he's getting there. Yeah, that's fair. But what a, what a, what a good movie. Yeah. Sorry. Whoa. Distracted. Trying to... That kid is just a little, like, gray-haired business suit. <laughs> like, one of the gray-haired business suit adult models shrunk down. That's very cute. Really? Yeah. Which like, one? all the kids are just the same adult models, just, just in, in tiny form. Yeah. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> all right. I need another source of food. It's kind of a Katamari energy, actually, to a lot of this yeah. that, I, that I quite like. Maybe it's just the silliness with the way the humans kind of fall around and stuff. And the screaming. Yeah, a bit of that, too. Oh, All boy. right. Now we shall go poop on the humans. And they will know the true power of our rage. This is... I guess this is only for Monster Hunter fans, but this is just like a little basil juice simulator. If you get the little fire poops, then you just you're flying around, just dropping these little flaming explosive hazard things on everybody from above, <laughs> being a nuisance, barging in all the time, uninvited. I was invited. The hedgehog invited. Mm. It's the hedgehog's home. Technically true. I need to pop two more balloons. I don't see any more balloons. Do you? S- Ooh. An escapee. Oh. This balloon has gotten away, but not for long. And it, it, I'm just realizing it got away by you being there first with a uh, leaf blower. Oh, is that what happened? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you wonderful fiend, you've done it. Thank you so much. Another small step towards complete animal dominance. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Truly, this game does get me. Game I was trying to rein the chaos in. Why would you ever do that? Someone's gotta. Why would you ever want to? Aw, I thought maybe it would flip again if I pooped on <laughs> Maybe that car would get repaired. <laughs> hey, you never know. Where is this lemur? Where is this lemur? Yeah, I've not seen any other... I still need to find a squirrel kid, and I need to find a lemur. Oh, Ooh, wait, there's a something. I see a hat. It's in the same, like, they've even got them in the same little, like, gotcha pond balls and stuff. Like, it's different, though. A little different, but, like, I feel like these folks must... Know each other? Yeah, like, these must be, like, uh... Well, like, there's no. lots of indie devs who are friends, who are, like, kind of all in a big, like, sort of social yeah. uh, friend group sort of thing. Like, it really feels like... Maybe they're not. Maybe they're not at all. But, boy, it kind of feels like a little bit. So, Lil Kitty Big City. Yeah. Did we play that when it first came out? Pretty much, yes. Okay. I thought for some reason maybe we'd taken a bit of time to get to it or something. Nah. Hmm. Pretty much the instant that was available, we were on it. Because we'd been waiting. Okay, so 
if they don't know each other, they need to. Little Kitty Big City has been in development for longer, I'm pretty sure. Like, because this team clearly puts games out fast. They're like one a year. Oh, wow. And Little Kitty Big City has been like in, in development for at least three. I wonder... This is all very easy to look up. I should do that later. Right. <laughs> Instead of us just speculating about people who may not know the first thing about each other. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything we can do with our modicum of fame to ensure that they know each other and... Hey, two people we don't know. I want them to be best friends. Allow us to introduce. I want them, apparently the game studios, to be best friends. <laughs> <laughs> I want them to have little play dates where, where they go from like one studio to the other to hang out and like eat cookies and play games. Are you shipping and... indie devs right yes. now? Yes. Yes. That's what I'm saying. He was shipping the indie devs together. I want them to go be BFFs. Oh, hey, there's Squirrel. A squirrel Kid. Yeah. Hello. Come with me. Your mother if needs you. If you want to live. <laughs> I think that every single time I say come with me. <laughs> every single time. Oh, the face changed. Wow. Oh, wow. My babies are all home. Still all caps. Thank you, bird crow. The squirrel kind is forever indebted to you. Okay, bye! <laughs> They're adorable. They are. You've level completed complete. the level, but you've not met a lemur. I have not. Kaka! You've beaten this area. You can go to exit right next to me and proceed to the uh, next level. The horse stay here and complete challenges for extra rewards. I need to find a lemur! The choice is yours, Kaka. Lemur! Lemur first. Gotta find it. Lemurst. Can't that end work. the ep- Can't end the episode. I really felt like by the time we'd completed the level, I would understand what the fire hydrant, like... Yeah. Crime scene marker things on the ground are, but I still, I still don't know. I don't either. Maybe it's a Japan thing. Maybe? It definitely feels like that's for us to do something with. Oh. Hey. Hello. I feel like it's a lemur. You should do this. Okay. Hey, Crowy. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Call me Lemmy. Lemmy the lemur. There's like a lot of deep cuts in this playthrough. <laughs> you look like one smart bird, eh? Bet you're smart enough to use tools, aren't ya? Some objects you pick up have a special use. How about we practice your usability, eh? Me and the boys were talking, and these humans getting mad wild on our turf. You know what I'm saying? Guess it's time to remind them who runs this place. Oh, they know. Grab one of the spray cans and tag a bunch of red mailboxes. Just like this one right here. It's all about personal branding, you <laughs> dig? It's really hard to keep the cadence of that one weird lemur from that one game. Yeah. When not every lemur in every game is written that way. Perfect. Beautiful. Yes, yes. Mailboxes. There are so many. And do I have to watch all the other Playframe playthroughs in order to understand what happens in this one Playframe playthrough? Usually, no. This time, yes. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it will enrich your experience. Years and years ago, what is that game called? Armello. That was Armello. like one of the first things you and I played on this channel. Yep. And that lemur voice was so obviously intended by the dialogue yeah. as written, I think. Definitely fit that lemur more than this one. Yeah. But though I did like the contrast on this one. I have never found a character that fits that lemur voice as well as the one from Armello. Yeah. They were beautiful. I miss them. Huh. Well. I can see a kanji that I think means stop I don't know what this is me either fun I've forgotten lemur almost all of my oh yeah Japanese I ever knew 
tragically. What little I knew, I have also forgotten. Crowy, Crowy, my bird, you have done us a solid. <laughs> I'm actually liking this a lot, actually. <laughs> now these pesky humans won't forget we own this place. <laughs> Good work, eh? <laughs> it, it doesn't fit in a very entertaining way. I like it. <laughs> now you've completed a dang level, though. We really have. Look at me. See? Only game-mandated chaos. Yeah, no, I feel like this was a... This this worked out well. We both got what we wanted. Mm-hmm. Compromise. Ah, dang. I didn't realize that was the wall. I I, <laughs> I got lost. Sorry. Wait. Ah, sorry. Ah, heck. <laughs> well, let's find where your grandma is and... Grandma! Exit the level. Grandma! Wait, wait. Liberate. Freedom! <laughs> <laughs> Freedom for plants. That, I'm trying to think of how many things we're like, how many references, references. and callbacks we're making. At this so point. many, <laughs> too many. Arguably, it's in the spirit of the game. We found yeah. bread with a face. We found bread with a face, and we rolled with that. Y'all can roll with this. And a table with a face. <laughs> that also. too. Goodness, I almost forgot the table with a face. Whoa! Oh no! What do we not do? Oh, a hat. well, no, maybe races. No, I don't think it was races. They said a it was hat. optional. Huh? A hat. No, it, it probably is the races. Dang it. You got a cool mask, though. Now I've got to go back in and... Aw. Uh, well, if you want to off-camera, that's a thing you can you can go back and... I don't have to 100% and complete everything. No. This is correct. Or if you want the hat that bad, I can go and 100% things to get you hats. Oh. Wait up, squeeb. Whoa. So, you're that new crow everyone's talking about, huh? Why am I giving you all, like... Mobster voices? It's the know. eyebrows. A little bit. The others were kind of mobstery, and this, this is just mm. what this one's getting. Don't you be bigger. Anyway, you must think you're like the protagonist of this adventure, huh? I mean... Well, uh, let me introduce myself. I am Maggie the Magpie, the smartest of all birds. You are not a mag... You know what? If you say you're a magpie, you can be a magpie. I don't know all the colors of all the birds. Thank you. Sorry. Everyone knows magpies are smarter than crows. Mm. Thus, henceforth, let it be known, this is just magpie things. And you, you're just an NPC to me. <laughs> so watch your back, Crow. I'll beat you every step of the way. You have a rival. I walk, guess. Walk a walk. That's what magpies say, I bet. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Real birds walk, only losers caw. I'm trying not to take offense. <laughs> you can. <laughs> I feel like offense is intended. Oh, yeah, very much. And so I don't want to take it. Oh, I see. I will Don't give not. him the satisfaction. You will take the fish, though. I will take the fish. To where? Um. That's oh. a great question. I guess that'll be the next level next time. Ancient yeah. Egypt. In the olden times, the crow was once revered as a god. Well, after it earned that reputation. Oh, what? Well, if that's a that option? <laughs> oh, oh, you can B. reset. I see, I, I, see, the, I see, I see, I see, I see. I was just trying to drop the fish. Oh. Well, let's here. Well, we'll save this one for next time. I was trying to drop the fish. And you did, and you ended up in ancient Egypt. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I was not ready. I don't think any of us were ready. The humans used to worship us. Oh no, this is a preview for what we get to do next week. Oh, it sure is, but we'll, we will not... We're, like, we're in the dialogue thing now. We can't... We, we can't, can't end and start another episode now. now. Let's, we'll, we'll see this, and this will be the teaser taster for what you can all look forward to more of next week. Oh, fine. That's only fair. But lately, they've become very lazy. When's the last time anyone gave your chin a scritch? It's been ages. When was the last time someone moved a little string around to abuse you? Daniel, you haven't done that for me in forever. But uh, yes. Maybe ever. You're probably right. The Pharaoh's headdress is the symbol of power around here. Whoever brings me the Pharaoh's headdress will be handsomely rewarded. It is time to restore power to cats. 
power to cats. I want chin scratches and strings. You're you're a crow right now. You get your own strings and you collect them and you put them in a little nest like hoard. Only on the surface am I a crow if you scratch just a little underneath. The cat's still there. Hmm, I see. Well, that'll be a task for next time. Thank you all very much for watching. Yeah. And um, we weren't sure if we were going to do more of this when we started this episode, but I think we're feeling increasingly sure that we're doing more of this now. I think we have to. I, I think so, too. I'm I having a great time. The cats demand it. They, yeah, they definitely do. And they boy, they bounce. They bounce. <laughs> it's so great. It's just so great. <sighs> ah, dang it. Dang it. Thank you all very much, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye!